Elise, it seems hard to believe that a year already has uh, has passed. Yeah. Uh, does it does it seem like a year to you? Oh my gosh, no! It went by so fast. I don't know how come because I mean, you know, after uh, when he passed away, well, I was quite busy. There was always something going on, and uh, but in the month of uh, June or something like that, there. Oh, I didn't feel too good. I was lonesome and, uh, and I'd cry for nothing and all that. And then after that, well, my little doctor came over and he said, hey, you're not going to act like that there. No, 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 we'll look after that. So he gave me a little pill and ever since then I've been okay. But can you believe sometimes I'm at home there and right now there, I'd be sitting there and all of a sudden I feel as if the door would open and he'd come right in. It seems to me it's not that long ago that he's gone. Yeah, I know. it's. it's but my God, the house is empty. Oh, unbelievable. What do you miss the most? Everything. <laughs> no, but, but we were always together, always. So I don't know. It's a, well, we used to go have dinners and things like that, you know, and uh, come to the hockey games and we'd go uh, on a trip somewhere. We had beautiful trips. But, you know, not, no more. And I don't want to go. Like I have friends, they say, why don't you go back to Barbados and all that? I said, no, I don't want to. I'm guessing that you're still getting mail, that mail oh. is probably still coming to the house. Have you got any idea how many have come in in the last year? I, I'm sure. No idea. I know there were many of them, a lot of them. Did you reply to a lot of this? I guess you did what you could, right? Well, yeah, I so did. But, oh, well, when he passed away, we answered almost everybody. Right. And maybe there's a few that we, we didn't see or forgot or something, right. but most of them have been answered. And Jean's office was very, very special in, in, in the condo. It was, yeah. it was really, you could tell it was his office. How much has that office changed? It's exactly the same as when he left it. I didn't take anything away, nothing. Everything is still there. And I don't know, I, I go in there and even the pictures, I have pictures of Jean, I think, in every room in the house. And some of my friends said, why, why are you keeping all those pictures? I said, they've been there all my life. They're going to stay there. That's it. And when sometimes I go by and I say something to me, you know, it's just a little word passing in front of the picture. But uh, that's it. No, it's still the same as when he was there. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite picture? I know that when we met back, it would have been last January or February, I know that I took a picture in your home of Jean with the Quebec Aces that was framed yeah. sitting on a table. Yeah, that that's the one I love. That one, well, I had just met him, I think, about, uh, well, maybe a year or so, and we were going out together, and I always loved that picture. So I put it in the frame, and I said, it's going to stay there. And that one stays uh, yeah. there. Yeah, and I have another one that was taken just in the house, too, but it's good. It's, uh, it's more at his age there before he passed away, and he's, you know, his face is nice and <laughs> round. <laughs> but um, that, oh well, no, I, I have everything is the same. Is there any one thing, Elise, that has happened in the past year that has reminded you of how important Jean Beliveau was? Oh, yes, because there are so many invitations. I still get lots of phone calls about John and things like that. People who call me to say, well, we had him here and he did this and did that. And they say, well, it's too bad he's not there anymore. But sometimes they ask me to go. <laughs> I say, well, I'm not John Bellio. <laughs> but um, no, I've, uh, everything that's happened is, uh, if he's up there and seeing all what's going on since he passed away, he wouldn't believe it, I don't think. Because there's so many things, so many. You mentioned probably not too long after, after Jean passed away that mm -hmm. you thought that he might have even been a little uncomfortable oh. at, at, at the level of adoration, uh, at, at yeah. the outpouring of love. Oh, yeah, you can be sure of that because I was just, when you think at his funeral and all that, the reception there, that you know, the whole thing, and after, and my God, it was so beautiful. I said, if he sees all that, he'd, I'm sure he'd be, uh, he'd be shy <laughs> to know all these things are going on. But that was a nice ceremony. My God Almighty. Well, you organized that too, and you wanted that to be a reflection of who your husband was. Uh, yeah, but was, I, did, I did, As large as it was, it was still pretty simple. It yeah, wasn't but, a massive, spectacular event. No, no, no. But thank you to the Molson family. They're the ones who did everything, and the Regent, and the, the, I told them what I wanted. But I don't, didn't want anything flashy. I didn't want nothing. I said something very simple. Jean was a simple man. He wasn't. You know, he, he was down to earth, so I said, want something very plain but nice, and nice songs. So that's what they did, and uh, it was perfect. Yeah. You're still coming to, oh, uh, yes. to a good number of games, and oh, this yeah. hockey team is still oh, very I love, much yeah. your team. Oh, yeah, it's my team. I, I love all the boys, every one of them. Of course, I like P.K. <laughs> I've been <laughs> acting crazy sometimes, but it doesn't matter. And I love all of them, uh, Max and all that, and Price. They're all, all the boys are nice, really nice.
that's like when John passed away. They all came at the, at the, at the wake there, and it was so nice to see those boys. Well, we know that you're kind of a, or I know that you're sort of a bit of a shameless fan for PK. I mean, oh. like, like the, the sun shines <laughs> yeah. on PK in, in your eyes, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, the first time when he, I, we saw him when he arrived here, I said to Jean, look at that kid, the way he's skating, you know, and he was, I said, my gosh, he's going to be a good player. Jean said, oh, yeah, he said, I think so too, he's going to be a good, but he said, he'll have to quiet down a bit. <laughs> oh, well, I said, he's still young, you know. <laughs> He's but, quieted down a little oh, bit. Not oh, too yeah. Much, no, that's but, PK. That's uh, that, who he is. Well, yeah, but still, it's nice. And what he's done there for the kids at the uh, hospital for the uh, sick children there, yeah. my God, that's wonderful. And what they did for him, too. Atrium PK Subban there, that's wonderful. And that was with his father and mother that day. They invited me to go. And I couldn't get over it. They're nice. And he's got a lovely family. Everybody, the whole family is nice. Montreal Canadiens have been every bit as much your family oh, almost. as they were John's as yes. well, right? Oh, I mean, yes, they, yeah. they just, they were. Yeah, well, I've, I've been here, what, uh, 60 odd years at least. We had four families of Molson for, uh, since I've been here. I'm wondering, I, I guess that on Wednesday, it, it obviously will be remarked upon in the city, and oh, yeah. people will, will remember, oh, will yes. stop to, to yeah. remember. Yes. Do you have anything well, in mind that you will do? Well, we'll be the whole family together, and then we're going to have dinner together. Mm. It's going to be quiet, but you know we'll be talking about the old days, and I have uh, tapes and all that. We'll probably look at that. There right. and, uh, you think you'd be proud of, uh, of what you've achieved in the last year? I mean, well, you've, you've you've done an enormous amount in the past. Well, year. I hope so. I've been trying to do something that Lisa is <laughs> well. My wife is not that bad; she can do things. Because before, I never wanted to do anything. Never. When he was there, I said, I don't know. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to do this. And, Last thing I want to ask you, how would you like hockey fans and, and Canadians and, and people beyond the game of hockey who just have been touched by Jean Bellev over the years, how would you like them to remember him? Well, he was such a good man. I don't think they, <laughs> I think they'll say, well, that man was a wonderful person and uh, he was always ready to, old people, young people, kids, he had them all around him and he was always ready to go and see them. So I think he'll remember that, that he was always ready to go and meet people. Always. Yeah. Please, thank you. Thank well, you're you. welcome. Thank you for doing this. Well, you're welcome. Really yeah. to do it. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome.